All right, hello everyone, and welcome back for more, and for what could very much be the end of Pokemon Crystal. It's kind of crazy to think we have all the bad job. I didn't even think. I was go I, I said last time that when I get to this part, I tried to do it earlier, so in case anything went wrong. Well, long story short, next part of the game, it. No, it's time to fight the ultimate challenge. I was hoping for a much better intro than that, but I panicked. Oh, we're going to need Flash. Well, this is bad. But yeah, it's time for the ultimate challenge. We have to fight Red. I've been wondering how this is going to go for a while now. I have no clue what he's going to have. I have an idea of a few people need to have, but level-wise... Uh, does it not? Noctowl or Ariados? Ariados. Noctowl is actually going to be useful. I think Ariados is probably going to be pretty useless for this fight. <gasps> what what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, I mean, if I'm done with the game... I tried to convince myself it was okay, but no. I can't be getting rid of poison sting. Gotta be careful. Of if there's any move that's going to be useful, I wait. Did I really give somebody flash? No, I think it was just like skip bloom or something. Yeah. Spiderweb. I don't need to catch anyone anymore. If there's one Pokemon I attack, I can't afford to lose with Ariados. It's poison sting. It's all he's got. Nightshade might be okay, but... Oops, forgot to fly back. Yeah, a part of me was like, will I really need to poison anything? Yeah, maybe I will. But yeah, it's time. Red. The ultimate challenge begins now. I have no idea what to expect from... Mount Silver. I forgot the name for a second. Wait, did I, did I give our ring flash? No, I didn't. Had to make sure. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I thought you went to Mount Silver and it was just this. Like, right from the start. Good start. <laughs> I mean, I hope there's a few rare, rare candies or healing items around here. Of course, it's a graveler. Go on. Self-destruct. You know it's coming. Ooh, maybe not. It won't, it won't get the chance. Oh, shit. I was thinking maybe because it's daytime, it would, is it weaker? I don't know if that's a thing, but I think it's, I think bite is stronger in a cave or in the dark. I haven't looked into it, but I think that's what's been going on. Because the first few times I used it in the game when I was outside, it was terrible. Like, surprisingly bad, of course. Oh yeah, I fought him already, didn't I? When I went here and here, the first time I had a, oh God, 44. If this is the wild encounters... What's Red going to do to me? Sure. Oh, this could be bad. I have to check my revives as well, actually, to be safe. But Espeon would be at least level 60 probably before it. I wonder if this last Arse Ring will fight. Who will be the final encounter of the of the journey? Who will be the final wild battle? Who will be the last Pokemon I use? Escape rope. Just in case I want to get out of here. I'm going to check as well if I can do the uh, game shark thing. To get to Celebi event. If I can. We'll see how it goes. If not. <laughs> well. We won't. But either way. This is either, either the last episode. Or the second last Carabos is speed. So we'll give it to Noctowl. Just in case I come to a point where like, I need to hypnotize. At level 42. <laughs> might even be doable. We'll save that. And do I have something else? No. We'll use that in a minute when I need to. Make some space. The only thing I know about Mount Silver. Red. Larvitar. 
red and larvitar. <laughs> Separate things. There's not a red larvitar in here. It's not like a Gyarados. So I have to make sure. I've oh, see, the tech issues this week have been mind blowingly annoying. Even just now, I was like, okay, here, let's start up the thing. Oh, I usually press Windows because so, uh, you can bring up the screen, have a quick check if the if things are working out. But no, I couldn't bring it up this time without clo not even closing the emulator, but going out of full screen it was such a hassle. Which means I couldn't even check if it was recording while the thing was open. So. I think, I hope, everything is done with. It started off with the cap... Oh, he survived that one. <laughs> it started off with the capture card not working like a week or two ago. Then I restarted everything on my laptop. Lost a lot of shit for it. <laughs> then I plugged it back, it back in. Nothing worked. It eventually figured that out. Then I plugged in HDMI lead for my, for the, uh, to record on the TV. <laughs> what? Let me have sound from the TV. Then I finally get that work and then this window shit happens. But finally, I think at long last, maybe everything has sorted itself out. Maybe we're done with the bullshit. Watching my laptop just explodes. Wouldn't that be a great end to this? <laughs> God, we're starting for... <laughs> just in case I want to catch red. Does it loop around? I think that's just back to where I started, yeah? Fuck it. We're in the last area. There's nothing after this except maybe a quick little event. So. Have I been here? I, I don't know. I'll check down first. Oh, this is where I started. Good. That was just for a dire hit. Do you know what I really should have thrown on? Leftovers. To say that that could be life saving is doesn't even come close to cutting it. What the hell am I doing? What am I thinking? <laughs> Espeon shouldn't be the only one doing this. Gramble, he Gramble is great. Strength could save me a lot here too. Give me a larva there. I want to catch it. I, I don't I know I won't raise it, but I want to have one before I s finish. <laughs> what am I saying? For all I know, this whole episode might be Mount Silver. Not even red, just Mount Silver. Okay. That's a tiny bit of an issue. <laughs> actually, actually. Bite seems to be good against rock type, so yeah, we're good. Unless he, yeah, of course he did. But it won't, it won't kill me. Not with six levels above and full health. Probably left around 20 or 30. Whew, close. Wait, right, so where? Okay. <laughs> I got it turned around for a second. I forgot about the, the loop. And battle. Fuck's sake, and this is only floor one. No, I'm not coming back down there. That's where I, yeah, I'm, I know where that is. God, watch out this place, like 20 floors. Oh, <gasps> yeah, me! Larvitaire! I'm gonna go for it. I just, oh, I, it's so, so frustrating you can't catch him sooner. I get it, he's a, he's a pseudo legendary, but. So was Dratini. You could catch him in the Severi zone. I'd love to have gone through this game with a Larvitar. Oh, what? Like, Tyranitar is easy still. To this day, one of probably the coolest Pokemon out there. No! <laughs> I meant to hit the fucking change Pokemon. Well. That might come back to haunt me. I'm too curious. I have to check. Well, that's, uh... That's something. Surely... I know it's only been like seven battles. Surely there's going to be another one. 
I'm not that unlucky. I hope Onyx gives Onyx gives more than a was eight hundred. That's the gravelers have kind of been shit. Uh, fuck it. At this point, they're going to be the two to get me through this. Oh god. So I'm getting used to angles or webcam. So when I check back, I'm like, oh, I'm down here. <laughs> 10 damage. Oh, not even. I thought it was downplaying it. Is anyone close to leveling? Oh, he actually is. Baraligator is definitely leveling up during the battle anyway. Ah. I mean, even if it is like Soul Silver, they're like level 70 Pokemon. Not too far off. It's not like the point where I thought it was where I'd be like, oh, he's going to one-shot me with a single appointment or two. Now even if they're all level 70, it's pretty close. Uh, 44 is decent, but the rest don't even feel worth it at this point. That one, I did it again. Oh, sure. I don't have waterfall. Fuck. Oh. I'm glad we got to see one less Parasect. Because in this game, I still think it's the coolest design he's ever gotten, maybe. Can't level up for Alligator. Can't believe he's not my highest level Pokemon. <laughs> that feels really weird. Yeah, yeah. Go to Slash. Actually, might not kill him. If it's critical, it will, but... Well. Please, I may have full heals or paradise heals. Because if I... Or, never, never mind. <laughs> Tell me I have full heals or awake. Well, he'll wake up anyway. If he doesn't kill me in the meantime. Don't use Razor Leaf or something. Shit, shit like that. If he pulled out a Razor Leaf or a Solar Beam... It could kill me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. He'll die. There we go. Watch how Bite doesn't kill him. <laughs> 840, just, it's so small. Alright, let's see what's over here. That better not be. That better be fucking side content. <sighs> oh, Jesus. They're getting stronger. I level up. Gr Why? Why do I keep doing it? I, it's literally never happened in the game. M maybe one time. It's never happened twice in an episode. Definitely never three times. And even when it did happen, it's because I was on ice and I was like, okay, go to, I, I thought I was on fight. And I was like, right A. It never happened just because, you know, whoops, I pressed right and the wrong button. Fuck's sake, don't use spore. Thanks. Please. Please let it be a critical. I really don't want to spend six turns in a fight just to do two attacks. Oh, thank God. <laughs> we good? We good. Doesn't even feel worth it. <laughs> Ooh. That looks like a really important stairs. Or set of stairs. Red. <laughs> I actually don't think I remember the area where he stands. I, I, it might be obvious, but I don't. I, I can't picture it in my head. Well, I kind of can, but only the very spot where he is. It's literally never happened. Until this episode. Oh, and what am I on? Is this 51 or 52? That's just an item. That means I don't have to go there. This is either 51 or 52. I went 50 or 50. Fuck. <laughs> or 51 episodes. Never doing that. Four times in what? You think? No. 
Do that's one area I was thinking of recently as well. I meant to go there first. I completely forgot. There was a spot between Azalea and no. all. Between Violet City and Azalea. Right before the Slowpoke Well. There was a cave there. I'm pretty sure you could surf in there. And I never did. Because it was only after the first badge. I didn't have surf. I was nowhere near having surf. I have to check back to that. Because I, I, I thought for a while maybe Lugia or something would be in there. But obviously that didn't work out. He was in the World Islands. <laughs> Will he level up? No. Just in case. This looks very pathway-y. I would like for Alligator to level up before the name hit red because I have a rare candy. So I'd really prefer to do that when he's just after leveling up. I wonder how close you are, Red. Ooh, shit, that could actually do some decent damage. I know it's 10 levels lower and it's a non-effective move, but it's it's still Earthquake. It's still a fucking earthquake. Okay, they're getting a higher level. That's good. 48, jeez. This looks familiar. There he is. The ultimate challenge. And the final wild encounter potentially for the entire game. Gold bat. I was going to say that. Why? It's only. I do that's actually fine. Now I have to have a proper battle with just for alligator. He should level up. I never thought I'd see level 51 wild encounter i barely got to see level 51 <laughs> trainer battles i don't think a, sing a single canto gym leader had level 51 which is absolutely insane oh thank god i was about to say like go on gold bat use sleep powder or some shit like that <laughs> should be enough perfect Attack 160, up 2. Let's go through. Max Revive, we'll keep that for the battle. Hyper Potion on... Yeah, for Alligator definitely should get one. Grand Bull, I don't want to waste a Max Revive on you now, but I will if I have to. What's Dire Hit? I mean, sure. We'll give it to nobody, I guess. <laughs> Never mind. Do I have... Yeah, there we go. That and a few super potions will be good. Three, two, so we'll do two. Yeah, two. <laughs> That's it for now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that feels a lot better to do right after the level up. That's the best time. And raises attack. That seems good for... For Slash. All right. Here it comes. I have to... Is that... I have to catch one more Pokemon. It's going to be Larvitar because... 50 is a perfect number to end. One sec. Okay. All right, Red. Almost forgot to, uh, do one little thing. Where's my super potions? Should I start with... I think I'm going to start with Espeon. I think Espeon's always a good start for any battle. Here it comes. <laughs> this is it. This is the real one. Alright, Red. It's time. He looks familiar. Dun, dun, dun. That is the face of the ultimate challenge. 
I imagine if that was that ruined everything. Do you know what? I should point check to make sure everything's working before I start. Dot 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 dot. Let's go. Red. Peakman trainer red. Peak M N. Six on six. Oh. You know, for a brief moment, I forgot about the fact that he could wipe the floor with me. Oh, he's starting with Pikachu. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I wasn't expecting level 81. How long have I been going roughly, actually? <laughs> this might need to be a more than one episode 23. At least I can stop here, go to the, the cave to check the thing. If I do, if it, it needs to happen. I was not expecting 81. I thought 70s would be the maximum. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh dear God. I want to spend 81 for the first Pokemon. <laughs> I'm shocked that did as much as it did. Holy fuck. Holy shit. I know Psychic is a great move and all, but... There's a 22 level difference here. Am I reading that right? 1,422. From a trainer's Pikachu. The wild goal bat was 30 levels lower and it gave me what? 1,400? Oh no, 1,200. What the fuck was that? Oh. Okay. This is either going to be very good or very bad. What's going to be? Like 80, 73. I think Pikachu may have been the best one. I think he's going to his final Pokemon first. I'll give it... It's a decent fucking battle. Decent. It's a super high level. Oh my god. I'm still recovering from the shock of a level 81 Pokemon being thrown out. <laughs> and full restore. No. Wow, Red. Just like me, you power through on pure luck and level alone. <laughs> there, That's more like it. I guess because Pikachu is technically a middle phase in this one, but still. Snorlax. Josh. <laughs> Let's give the rest of them at least an attempt. Level 75. <laughs> I think Red is still officially the strongest Pokemon in all of Pokemon. He's normal type. Not just like in terms of lore, just like level wise. He at least has the highest level Pokemon. Alright, let's see what Strength will do. I am so dead. <laughs> He's nearly doubled my level. Twenty-six level difference. What will strength do? It's more than I expected. Hmm. <laughs> shot. I think it has to happen. He has to be a sacrifice. Nobody else can afford to take a hit like that right now. Well, let's go. Big bulk against big bulk. Hydro pump. Go. He'll definitely have one of the starters as well, if not all of them. It might be too, well, no, it's not. Three pop and left, three starters. I'm getting really lucky with the criticals here. What will it do? It could be a good half. Close. I think I'll go to bite. I didn't increase his strength by one for nothing, apparently I did. <laughs> I can't rely on another critical for Hydro Pump of all things. Okay. He, he hasn't rested yet. Rest can't happen now. Full restore can. Whew. I probably shouldn't have done that. I mightn't kill him. Ugh. Fuck me. Oh, I shouldn't have done it. Why? What was I thinking? 
If there's anyone I know is going to be fast, it's Espeon. I thought I missed for a second. <laughs> Level up. Ah, should I have one more battle with Espeon? Chara's there. Ah, what a time to lose my Feraligator. There he is. <laughs> Level 77. I suppose he is red. It makes sense that would be his second powerful one. Second most powerful. Keep going. What? Ooh. No, not even the, the defense down. The special defense. If it does more than 40, we're in trouble. That That's a little bit more than 40. Realistically, my only chance here, without using so many revives, is if this gets a flinch. Fuck yeah. Oh, you're done. He, he was close. I think if he was one level higher, that would not have killed him. And by he, I mean Charizard, of course. Sorry, just checking again. Blast dice or... Yeah. Do I have any grass type? Do I have Arya? Do, do what? Arsering, I feel bad for saying it, but you, you, this is your role in this battle. <laughs> I've got level of 35 instead of 77. Where is that? No? Oh, oh not the top. Max revive for my for alligator and in the one in a million chance to get another attack before he dies. Espeon can get a hyper potion. Any hope? <laughs> what are the odds he survives this? 117 damage. That does seem like a lot for Surf. Come on. Da. Not even a chance. Alright, here it is. The battle of the fully evolved water starters. Slash! Your water type moves are useless against me. Oh. Damn. What will 17... What was it? What will 17 levels do? If he can do 40 damage to me with that much... Surely Hydro Pump will do roughly the same to him. <gasps> no! I know he's 17 levels ahead, but surely Hydro Pump will kind of make up the difference, right? The difference of strength between a Hydro Pump and Surf. It has to do at least half his health. I mean, down to half. This is bad. I'll still get one more attack. As long as this isn't critical, I'll be okay. Alright, <laughs> it's time to rely on a bit of luck. I've gotten good luck with flinches. Oh, I knew it. It was, it was overdue. What? So four times it... I don't know. Three times it does like normal 40 something now. Oh, suddenly 50. We go for it. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God for low accuracy moves. Which I'm pretty sure that is. I know this seems almost like it's going to be a full item battle, but I'm running low. That's my last ma max revive. We're getting close to the point where I have to use normal revive, and that's only half health, so. And I'm not really stocked up in potions. How many hyper potions do I have? 13. That's the last full heal I get in terms of like max revive stuff. Let me think, let me think, let me think. I think Espeon would be... If I get one attack before he wakes up, I'm going to use Psychic. Come on. Yes! How much will Psychic do? I'm sure he's faster, yeah? Yeah. Come on. Let's do it. It's over. 
Oh, it's all oh. psychic and a critical lock. Oh, yeah, three Pokemon. <laughs> Nocto level up, woo. And this is it. Possibly the final battle of Falcon Crystal. And it almost, it almost sucks to say, it's going to be a one shot. Because Psychic against a Grass type, he's gone. <laughs> if it killed a level 81 Pikachu in one attack, critical. Okay. <sighs> do you know what? Let's do it. Just for the fun of it. Do you know what? Venusaur, I gave you your opportunity to use Solar Beam. You squandered it. Well, maybe not. If you're not going to take advantage of the Solar Beam, I'm not giving you another chance. I gave you your shot. You didn't take it. Or did you? Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Ooh, close one. Again, if I was one level lower, that probably wouldn't have killed him. And that's it. That was red. Dot, dot, dot. Level-wise, he did not disappoint. He... He, he was surprised. How the fuck did I beat that? Ugh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was the most abrupt credits I've ever seen. Well, I guess that's been Pokemon Crystal. I really was not expecting it. The second I saw that Pikachu, I thought it was done. I thought I was done. Like I, I, One, I didn't realise he sent out his most powerful Pokemon first. I had the idea, but I didn't think he did it, for sure. But the second I saw the Pikachu, I knew they'd all be at least in their 70s. I'm shocked I beat him. I didn't have a... I had what, what, one Pokemon level 60. Two by the end of the battle. Somehow that pushed through level 70 somethings. How? I had no place winning that battle. I had no right. <laughs> I'm actually shocked. <laughs> the ditto dance. Go. That should be a thing to ditto dance. US version staff. Gail Tilden. Hiro Nakamura. Junichi Masuda. Seth McMahill. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> Nob O6. Oh, sorry. Too late. <laughs> I like the dancers in the end of this stuff. They're nice. Uh, remember back in the good old days? Where credits would be like two minutes long and that was it. <laughs> no, if you see a credits that's less than 20 minutes, it's almost a shock. Back in the day where a handful of people could make a game and it would be a beloved masterpiece. But no bullshit. The end. <sighs> I'm kind of shocked. Oh, can we fight him again or what's the deal? If I have Max Repel, I might check really quick. Just <laughs> for the hell of it. I don't. But yeah. Wait, am I back to the... Before the battle, or did it save? No, it saved. Alright, since I did it quickly enough, I'm going to try the special event if I can. If not, I'll be right back. See you in a sec. Or, but you know. <laughs> and it turns out, no. He's not here. Alright, be right back. Attempt, attempt number one. Nope. All right, attempt number one for real. I'm just, yeah, I didn't even check to sh where I should go. I just assumed this was the right place. I should probably look into this a tiny bit more. All right, quick little heads up. We got shit went wrong and the screen was basically was frozen the whole time. I don't know why. It's it's annoying. I think I finally forgot, but it's just fucking frustrating. So a few things are going to be off. A few things are going to be out of place because I had to re-record it. So it's not going to match up, but I don't be more fun to have my vocal reactions over just recording it over it again the second time, especially when I'm just annoyed. So yeah, that's why things are off. 
completely. All right. After much trial and tribulation and tech issues, I figured it out. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen here, but actually, before I do anything, I want to make sure a specific other glitch didn't happen before I do anything. Okay, we're good. There were other cheats out there to basically just have a Celebi appear. I didn't want that. I wanted the event. What? There's nobody here. My mistake. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Let's go. Jambola, isn't it? Congratulations. As a special deal, a GS ball has been sent just for you. Please accept it. No. Please do come again. I didn't look into what to do after this. I hope I can just figure it out really easily. But <laughs> I think the GS, yeah, the GS ball was in the anime too, but they kind of ignored and forgot about it. The mysterious ball. I I think I might have something to do with Bill, but that might be in the anime. So that's my first guess. I don't think it is, but round two. To the forest. What? Elex Forest? I haven't looked at the name of that in so long. I'm too curious. After the whole shit with Ho... No, of Ente and... Uh, Raikou. 31. He's gone six levels since I last saw him. And I think that was right before I started for the first Raikou Ente encounters. That should say a lot. I should have bought a repel. Please be a shortcut. Please. I don't know what the capabilities of emulators and stuff are. And, and I hope I'm not putting a dangerous idea into the world, but... <laughs> do you think it's possible to do, like... Oh, here's a cheat to get Celebi. It works perfectly. And then you get, like, a, little, a proper jump scare. <laughs> like, the crazy maze kind of thing. Or scary maze thing. Am I right? Well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> it's an order for... Uh, honor of... The forest's protector. Oh. Fuck me. What do I do now? But before I do. Is there anywhere else I could think of? Just in the off chance. I'm going to try Professor Oak before I do. it. Just. And Elm. If that doesn't work. I'll check the guide. Oh wait. Thank God for Mount Silver. And their little. Uh, escape rope. <laughs> the only thing I think is Oak and Elm. Fuck's sake of hiccups. If not one of them, what else? Yeah, I can't think of anybody else. Oh! Kurt. He likes balls. Jump ball, call you if anything comes up. And nothing's ever going to come up again, is it? No, Kurt is also a good one. They're the only ones I can think of if we have anything relevant to do with anything. And Kurt with balls. Kurt really likes balls, so it has to be him. If not him, Professor Oak. In fact, this might be in the anime too. Ah, uh, Jambola, I don't. Damn it. When I said, ah, Jambola, I was going to say, oh, you, you, I see you have a GS ball. That's relevant. Go on. Oh, what is that? I've never seen one before. It looks a lot like a Pokeball, but it appears to be something else. And it's not like my balls, because it's good. It might be good, I don't know. I'm just being an ass to cart. <laughs> Let me check it for you. Yoink. <laughs> what ball? Oh. I'm checking it now. Aha, I see. What the? What? The, what, the, what? <laughs> what a weird thing to do. I see, so. I'm checking it now. What, what do you mean you're checking it now? Ah! I don't know why that got me. The fact that he was just gone. Alright. Maybe now. <laughs> Literally two more steps I would have seen it. So the final encounter possibly of the entire game is a Caterpie. I'm strangely okay with that. <laughs> I level up quickly by Caterpie battle. Oh. I should have talked to his daughter. Damn it. Well, that didn't work out. What else can I do?
I'm just getting it ready in case I need to look it up. I won't do it yet until I have to, but I feel like I'm going to have to. Damn. Where would Kurt go? I'm trying to think, I can't even... Where the fuck is his dog? Oh. I swear. Is that... <laughs> Grandpa's checking a ball right now, so I'm waiting till he's done. Jeez, I overreacted. Maybe he's gone to the forest. Oh no, he's over there. I'm checking it now. I see, so, okay. What do I do? Don't I have to wait a day? And he turns his game shark code to a uh, change day. Alright, so I think I found a way to, I think I think that's okay. Jambola, perfect. Thank you, cheats. This ball started to shake while I was checking it. And this is why you don't do things on the day before. <laughs> there must be something to this. Now he's gone to the forest. Oh. <laughs> why am I really treating him like a fucking runaway? Elex Forest is restless. What's going on? Here's your GS ball back. Could you go see why Elex Forest is so restless? This is cool. <laughs> oh, imagine getting this in a proper event back in the day. Like going to the place. Getting your game by having a thing put into whatever they do. And then coming home and doing this. It'll be the coolest thing ever. God I miss it. Even though I never got to do it myself. Oh. No. Come on. Oh what is this? It's a hole. It looks like the GS ball would fit inside it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, this is cool. I never got to see this before. I've never done this. Oh, this is so cool. This is, see, sometimes the the old days are way better for this kind of stuff. The excitement. This must have been so cool back in the day. Alright. All I can say for sure though, Celebi, if you decide to flee, <laughs> you're dead. Future sight. Oops. This would have been a much better thing to catch with the uh the master ball. I'm afraid to attack it. Let's go. Celebi, you beautiful thing. <laughs> I wonder what the catch rate in a Celebi is. John, I like my odds. Let's go again. <laughs> wow. I don't want to switch out because I'm going to have to put it to sleep again, probably. Let's go. Catch the fucker. Come on. Damn, it's going worse. I, mean, I did save right before. Should I risk a takedown? See, I, I think I'm pretty sure Celebi is part grass so I'm afraid he was anything like psychic or not psychic confusion Ooh, oh, you you would never get that lucky if I wanted to kill it alright no fucking around this time also on the way here I saw something I'm not sure if it's relevant Ooh, did something happen to the forest guardian Of all the times to get a critical. How many times throughout this game did I repetitively say, boy, if I could just get a critical now I'd have this. I'd probably say like a thousand times. To the point even I would be like, ooh, have I said that too many times? Is this getting weird? The one time I didn't want it. That's probably the one time in... Just probably like three occasions throughout this entire game I didn't want a critical. Come on, Celebi. Celebi is an underrated little creature, by the way, I think. I don't know. I've never paid much attention to it either, but... It's a cute little thing. I like it. It should be up there with the likes of Mew. Go on. Kill it. Go on. Boy, that's quite a difference from the last thing I tried to get <laughs> To not kill with Rock Smash. This was lower defense. That's an okay time to get a critical. That's a fine time to do it. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I, I do one or two more. 
Let's give it a cut. My heart. <laughs> Perfect though. Couldn't ask for better. I mean, obviously I could, but I could really ask for more. I'm happy with this. Is that all it has? Future sight? Imagine if I use hypnosis or a, like a confusion or something there. Really? Really? <laughs> Ooh, for how long? Oh, stop. You can't be doing... No, none of this shit now. Is heal bell an original move for Celebi? If it heals bit by bit, I guess that's not as bad. Yeah, let's just go for it. If safeguard is going to stay for a while, let's go. It's like 10% of its health, if even, if, if even. Come on. How are you getting harder to catch? Right, let's try this again. We'll alternate. There we go. Celebi, it's been great. But you are probably mine. What? It got three shakes with full health. <laughs> Celebi. I sorry, when I got three shakes with the first ball, I really did not think this was going to be an issue. I thought this would be the easiest catch ever. I genuinely thought if I got to sleep, it'd be a what? It'd be a given. Catch would be a formality at that point. <sighs> Good, because I really did rent it. I'm not moved for a big long thing. <laughs> and that's it. Revi oh, Celebi time travel. Weight 11 pounds, high 2 pounds, or 2 feet. Revered as the guardian of the forest, Selby appears wherever a beautiful forest exists. Alright, anything else? Kurt. Foo, wasn't that something? Jambola, that was fantastic. Thanks. Thanks. The legends about the shrine were real after all. I feel inspired by what I just saw. It motivates me to make better balls. I'm going. I have one last quick check with Kurt. And if nothing happens from that. Go back check Celebi. And that'll be officially. The end. Kind of crazy to think. This is either episode 51 or 52 I think. Three times a month. That's four months. Three times a month. Three times a week. I'd be right back again. One sec. I'd want to see Celebi's moves. Oh, what a what a beautiful creature. Heal bell, safeguard, ancient power, future. I saw them all. All right, I'm gonna do one last thing before it's finished for good. Be right back. Okay, so I'm not sure. sure I'm not quite sure how. To, okay, so I'm not quite sure how this is gonna go, but I thought it'd be a fun way to end things. I went to the Pope League, flew through it really quick. I don't know if Celebi's going to get an attack. I just wanted to see him from the back. I've never seen Celebi from the back before. Except maybe in like Diamond and Pearl. And that's a sad way for that to go. <laughs> but at least we got to see it. Maybe it won't kill it. <laughs> oh that's a shame. Ah well. I, I should have done the sleep option. I went for Alligator because I thought he could survive and lick. But ah well. I thought this would be more interesting way to end. I put away Arsering because he's been part of the party for so little. It felt like the most appropriate one. Sorry. <laughs> I, I was... It's been going long enough. I have to edit this all still, so... Let me be right back. I thought the most appropriate way to end things would be in the final room to see my finished total complete party. So, if I was going to say overall... Do I, have to pr no, do I have to press buttons when I'm in the room? I don't think so. So we'll get to that first. Uh, well, whatever. Overall with this game, I think it's safe to say 
Still an amazing, amazing journey. A great follow up to the first game. Just being able to go to Kanto. They never did it again. And of course, the more games came out, the more we lost hope. For better or for worse. With Ruby, it could have been done. Maybe Diamond and Pearl. Black and White was even getting to be a stretch. Nowadays, <laughs> never going to happen. I think out of all the games, in its own weird way, the look of this game gives me the most nostalgia. Because it was just before I got my own Pokemon game, but it was still a game I played. Just, even just looking at the Pokedex and games, the black background, that hits me in certain ways that I can't explain. More than any other. Even Ruby and Sapphire, which is much more mine. Grand End. Granbull. Level 51. The final results. Espeon. Level 63. I was going to give up on Espeon. I'm glad I didn't. Even if it took so long to evolve. Ariados. You've been with me from the start. Gotta appreciate that. Noctowl. I was going to put you away too. But eventually I, I came too attached. And I needed Fly. And it worked out with Hypnosis and stuff. For Alligator. What do I even say? You were from the start. From literally from the start. You helped a lot. And Selvi. I just wanted you there. I just wanted you here for the last bit. <laughs> but yeah. And then there's me. Jambola. Playtime 75 hours. I guarantee. Oh yeah. I didn't get Larvitar. 50 Pokemon. The last one was Selvi. 75, 55. And be mostly because. I'm trying. <laughs> Your Pokedex is coming together. A good chunk of that time was because of the. Fucking legendaries between Raikou and Entei. I think it was at 50 hours before I started doing that. That was awful. <laughs> the only big problem I have with the game. The, the level progress throughout the game was awful. I think Faulkner could be a bit of an issue. He could be tough. Whitney is kind of a notorious gra uh, roadblock. After that. What level was that? Was it like um? I only when I got to the clear, she was level thirty, and then you get to Kanto. I was like, cool, whole new power who wants to fight. You better fight level twenty Pokemon. Fucking disaster. What was that one in uh near uh, Fuchsia, which was like he had five or six tw level twenty three Pikachu's in a place I could not get to until after the Pokemon League. That was embarrassing. Fucking shameful. Except for like Blaine and Blue. The two Bs. Every single one of the gym leaders. They had cool Pokemon. It was fun to fight them. Except maybe one of them. I can't remember which one. But why were they so weak? Come on. They didn't have to all be the same level. I get they had wanted to be open. But that means when you beat one. You can definitely beat them all. And when you beat one. You're leveling up. And then you're leveling up doing other stuff. And of course. Searching for the cats was fucking terrible. Like, I think Gen 3 did it better if I remember right, but catching him here was a nightmare. Go here. Oh, he's gone. Go here. Oh, he's gone. That's your two options. One, get lucky. But if you're searching for them, which you probably will be if you ever did find them, even back in the day before you knew they were a thing. Oh, I'm in Newbark and he's left from Newbark. Go there. Oh, now he's gone. Who? What the fuck were they thinking? You're best supposed to get lucky and be here when he goes here. Awful. But it is definitely a fun game. Still an absolute nostalgia trip. And it's been part of my life now for four months. Three times a week for four months. Well, obviously. How many times have I played these games? I don't know how many times with Silver. I've never actually played Crystal until now. I've played Soul Silver at least twice. And it felt good to go back. Someday in the future, I'll definitely go into Pokemon Emerald. I'm not sure when. I don't know. Go to, right, I don't want to go into another four months of Pokemon right away for obvious reasons. I don't want to burn out. Especially on a franchise that's so near and dear to my heart. This, this is my childhood. Between friends and family, this series is just... It's such a big thing to me. To my childhood especially. I don't know where I would... Who knows Who knows how different I might be on Pokemon. But yeah. Red. Level-wise, Red was absolutely... He lived up way past my expectations. I was expecting up here. He was like, whoop. But he was weirdly easy. How the fuck did I beat Red with? My lowest level Pokemon. No, his lowest level Pokemon was like level 75. My highest was 60. How the hell did I beat him? I didn't even struggle. I one shot at his Pikachu. <laughs> his highest level. 
think a 1,000 experience from that fucking thing. The only other big, huge dismount I remember in terms of like gym leaders was Chuck. What do you have? Like a poly wrath and some other thing. Two Pokemon for the fifth gym leader. That one sticks me more than anything. But that'll be it. That is it for Pokemon Crystal. I'm glad I got to do the event, which again, I wish these could come back as a real novelty, but with the internet, you, it's not the same anymore. You just go, oh, well, the event is here. It's like a free DLC. That, that's basically what it is at this point. Back onto the edge of the internet being really big, especially like in terms of just being going to a, a DS and download or a Switch. Celebi was truly what it's called, an event. These things were legendary. <laughs> And I mean in every sense of the word. In terms of how great they were. And in terms of they felt like an a fairway legend you could never achieve sometimes. But thank you for anyone who watched any of these. I know a lot of few people watching along were. It was a great thing for them to go back to to see. And it did. I think I'm happy with how it did here in terms of anything else. Imagine if I just wasn't recording this whole time. And the final part of Fountain Crystal could be me smashing something. <laughs> but yeah. I think we're just going to leave it there. Are you, oh, actually, are you, my other big disappointment with this game. Trout, like, I get it. It's more connected to the last gen than any in the franchise. But at one point I had seen like 90 Pokemon. And I think 16 of them were new. Like a good like three quarters minimum at most of this game. Were old Pokemon. I get it. It's it's more connected. There weren't as many new ones. But come on. I think my final thing in this game was like. I'd only seen like 210. I'll put on screen before I. I don't want to go back. I want, I want to leave it here. So I'll put on screen how many there were with the Pokedex. I did not see even close to all of them. The only ones off the top of my head I didn't see were. I think maybe the Kab Kabuto and Omanyte. I think I saw the Revolutions. Pupitar, Tyranitar. I don't know if I ever saw Micargo. Other than that, I don't know who I missed. Mantine, maybe. Of course, the birds. Mewtwo, stuff like that. But yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it. One final time with these little Cleffa spinning on the screen, which I also don't think I saw. <laughs> Thank you for watching. It has been great. Always happy to go back to my favourite little franchise. <laughs> and I'll see you for the next one, whatever I decide to do next. No idea what's going to be, and I'm not going to know until like 20 minutes before I decide I have to do it. <laughs> see you then.